Here is how I fix FPS drops in CS2 and get maximum FPS and smoother lag free gameplay. If you've been struggling with stutters, random frame drops or input delay that ruins your matches, then this video is for you. Counter-Strike 2 demands both raw performance and system stability. I've tested countless tweaks and methods and in this guide, I'll show you the exact process that consistently gives me buttery smooth gameplay. By the end, your system will be running leaner, faster and fully focused on gaming. Let's dive in. What's to with the lag and high ping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Up Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Up Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. Step 1. Optimize Steam settings to remove hidden performance bottlenecks. Steam runs a lot of background processes and visual features that look nice, but they quietly eat up resources from your CPU, GPU, and memory. Over time, these processes can create lag, slow down game launches, and even trigger random FPS drops during gameplay. By cleaning up Steam's cache and turning off unnecessary effects, we're making sure Steam stays lightweight and doesn't interfere with Counter-Strike 2's performance. First, Open Steam on your PC and click on the Steam icon in the top left corner. From the drop down, select Settings. Once inside, go to the Downloads section and choose the option called Clear Download Cache. A small prompt will appear asking for confirmation. Click OK and let Steam reset itself. After this, Steam will restart automatically with a cleaner cache that's free of corrupted or leftover files. Next, move to the friends and chat section and disable things like animated avatars and fancy visual effects since they consume both CPU and GPU cycles. Then open the interface tab and turn off smooth scrolling, GPU accelerated rendering and hardware video decoding. These changes reduce background rendering tasks, making Steam lighter. After that, head over to the library tab and enable the first three performance options low bandwidth mode, low performance mode, and disable community content. Together, these settings cut down unnecessary background activity inside your game library, allowing your PC to dedicate more power to your matches. Once you've applied all of these changes, restart Steam to lock everything in. Benefits after implementation. You'll notice faster Steam startup and quicker access to your games. Counter-Strike 2 will run smoother, with fewer stutters and less resource usage in the background. Step 2. Apply the Counter-Strike Performance Boost Pack to unlock full performance. Windows has dozens of hidden background services, startup tasks, and unnecessary features that eat away at your system resources. These things may seem small, but together they can drag down performance, cause micro stutters, and even lead to big FPS drops in Counter-Strike 2. By using a carefully built performance boost pack, we can apply registry tweaks, command scripts, and Windows tool optimizations that strip away all the excess load, leaving your PC tuned specifically for gaming. Start by downloading the Counter-Strike performance boost pack from the link in the description. If you prefer, you can also grab it directly from our Discord server. Once downloaded, extract the RAR file to your desktop and open the folder. Inside, the first folder you'll notice is called Registry. Open it, then install each registry file one by one by double-clicking, confirming the changes, and moving on to the next. These registry tweaks are designed to unlock performance improvements in Windows by removing bottlenecks. Next, return to the main folder and open the Windows Commands folder. Here, you'll see a collection of command files. Execute each one in order. These commands will optimize your operating system by disabling unnecessary background processes, reducing bloat, and making Windows more gaming focused. After completing the commands, move on to the included tool, Ultimate Windows Tweaker, UUWT. If you're on Windows 10, use version 4.8. If you're on Windows 11, grab the matching version for your OS. Once the tool is open, go to the Performance tab and carefully adjust all settings to match the recommended ones. Make sure to disable things like tablet input services, Microsoft Edge preloading, and printer spooling services. A crucial tweak here is disabling the Windows Search Index. 
This service consumes resources in the background and can negatively impact gaming performance. However, note that disabling it will remove the window search feature. If you don't rely on search often, turn it off for a nice performance boost. Before applying these tweaks, create a restore point using the option at the bottom, just in case you want to revert changes later. Once ready, hit apply. Now, switch to the privacy tab. Enable every privacy setting available. This step blocks Microsoft's background telemetry and data collection processes, which not only protects your privacy, but also frees up system resources. Once applied, move to the additional tab and look for the setting called Network Adapter Onboard Processor. Enable this option. By default, it's disabled, which forces your CPU to handle network traffic. Turning it on allows your motherboard's onboard processor to handle these tasks, taking pressure off your CPU during gameplay. After completing all these adjustments, restart your PC to activate the changes. Benefits after implementation. You'll notice reduced background load and higher FPS stability in Counter-Strike 2. System responsiveness and gaming smoothness will improve across all your titles. To fix high ping and stabilize your network connection in CS2, we'll be using Gear Up Booster. First, download the tool from the official website. The link is in the description. Once downloaded, install it and open the app. You'll be asked to log in using your Google or Facebook account. Go ahead and sign in to unlock full access. Once you're in, head to the Home tab. If CS2 is already listed, they're perfect. If not, go to the Games tab, search for Counter-Strike 2 and add it manually. Now return to the Home tab and click on CS2, then hit the Boost button. Gear Up Booster will now optimize your game settings and begin scamming for the best server. Next, it'll ask you to select a server region. Always choose the one closest to your physical location. For me, Middle East servers work best, but that may vary for you. If you're unsure which one to pick, just select Auto and Gear Up will handle it for you. After selecting the server, a window will open, showing even more servers in your selected region. This is the Not tab, where you can manually switch servers if needed, or stick with automatic mode for consistent pin performance. Finally, close the window and launch CS2 directly from Gear Up Booster. This will apply all your settings and keep your connection optimized throughout your game. If done correctly, you should notice lower ping, fewer spikes, and a much smoother experience in CS2. Step three, optimize virtual memory and processor scheduling for better stability. Counter-Strike 2 is a demanding game, and when your physical RAM runs low, Windows automatically uses virtual memory as backup by borrowing space from your hard drive. The problem is, Windows doesn't configure this memory optimally by default, which can cause stuttering, lag spikes, and even crashes when resources are stretched. By adjusting the virtual memory manually and optimizing how your CPU prioritizes tasks, we can ensure more stable performance during matches. To begin, open the Windows search bar, type Advanced System Settings, and click the result. In the System Properties window, find the Performance section and click Settings. When the Performance Options window appears, switch to the Advanced tab. Under the Virtual Memory section, click Change. By default, you'll see that Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives is checked. Uncheck this to enable manual control. Select your local disk, WAD C, and then choose Custom Size. In the Initial Size field, type 11361 MBB as a balanced starting value. For the maximum size, you'll need to calculate based on your total RAM. To do this, open the Calculator app, multiply your RAM in GB by 1024 to convert it to MB, then divide the result by 2. For example, if you have 16 G bar of RAM, the calculation gives you 892 MBB as the maximum size. Enter this value in the maximum size field. Once finished, click set, then press OK to apply. While still in the advanced tab, scroll down to the processor scheduling section. Make sure adjust for best performance of programs is selected. This setting ensures that Windows gives priority to your active applications, which is especially useful for gaming, where real-time responsiveness is critical. Restart your PC after making these changes to fully activate them. Benefits after implementation. Prevents sudden FPS drops and improves overall stability in Counter-Strike 2. Ensures smoother multitasking while gaming by balancing RAM and CPU usage more effectively. Step 4. 
disable Nagel's algorithm, and optimize network responsiveness. This step is a game changer. Online shooters like Counter-Strike 2 rely heavily on stable and responsive network performance. Even small delays in data transmission can create input lag, delayed shots, or inconsistent hit registration. By disabling Nagel's algorithm and adjusting a few network-related settings, we reduce latency, improve responsiveness, and make your online matches feel smoother and more consistent. Start by pressing Windows plus X and selecting Device Manager from the menu. Once Device Manager opens, expand the Network Adapters section and locate your active network device. Right-click on it and choose Properties. In the Properties window, head over to the Advanced tab, where you'll see a list of network-related features. Find the options called TCP, Checksum Offload and Large Send Offload. Both of these can cause added latency and input delay in online games. Disable them by selecting Disabled from the drop-down menus, then click OK to apply the changes. While still in Device Manager, scroll down and open the System Devices section. Here, look for an entry called High Precision Event Timer, HPET. On some systems, this feature can negatively affect FPS and cause stuttering. Right-click it, then disable it. Many players, myself included, notice improved performance after turning HPET off. If you don't see improvements or experience lower FPS after disabling it, you can always re-enable it later. However, for most users, leaving it disabled leads to better responsiveness and smoother performance. Restart your PC once these changes are applied to ensure they take effect. Benefits after implementation, reduced latency and faster network response, giving you an edge in online matches. Potential FPS boost and smoother gameplay by disabling background timing conflicts. Step five. Optimize advanced video settings in CS2 for maximum FPS. Start by enabling Boost Player Contrast. This option improves visibility by making enemies stand out more against their environment, which is crucial during fast-paced firefights. Next, turn off Vertical Sync (VSync). While VSync prevents screen tearing, it also adds significant input lag, which hurts your aiming precision. Disabling it ensures faster frame rendering and tighter control. Now, move to the latency settings. Enable NVIDIA Reflex, low latency, and set it to enabled, not plus boost. This setting lowers input delay, but leaving it at plus boost can put extra strain on your GPU. With just enabled, you get the responsiveness benefits without unnecessary GPU load. For maximum FPS, turn off multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode. Anti-aliasing smooths jagged edges, but it's very GPU heavy. Disabling it gives a noticeable FPS boost, especially on low-end systems. Then, reduce shadow processing, set global shadow quality to very low, and completely disable dynamic shadows. These adjustments reduce GPU demand while still letting you spot opponents clearly. Next, lower the resource heavy details. Set model, texture detail to low, which frees up memory without breaking playability. For texture filtering mode, choose bilinear instead of higher options like 16x. This keeps textures clear enough while saving GPU power. Set shadow detail to low or very low to further cut down on unnecessary rendering. To avoid heavy FPS drops during in-game effects, set particle detail to very low. Explosions, smokes, and flashes won't tank your frames as much with this change. Disable ambient occlusion, since it only adds advanced lighting that has no real impact on competitive gameplay, but drains resources. Finally, turn off high dynamic range, HDR, which may improve visuals, but is far too demanding on weaker systems. After applying these settings, restart the game to ensure all changes take effect. Benefits after implementation. Higher and more stable FPS with significantly reduced input lag. Clearer visibility of enemies gives you a competitive advantage without sacrificing performance. That's how you can fix FPS drops and get smooth, stable gameplay in CS2. If this guide helped, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more performance tips. Now go dominate your matches with higher FPS and zero lag holding you back.